Uh, let's talk about review of cards in increasing order. So you are giving an integer array deck. So there's a deck of cards, and for every card is a unique number. And I just want to uh, order a deck in any order you want. Okay. So you are going to fulfill the um, uh, fulfill the rules. So if there are the deck, just imagine one, two, three. If you take the first card out of the deck right you need to replace the second card at the bottom of the deck second uh and then second you take another card out and then you replace this card uh, at the bottom and so on right so this is three and then you just re replace three then this will be the questions and the idea is you have to return the order of the deck um that will reveal the cards in the increasing order so imagine you take the cards out of the deck right and this and then when you output when you show to everyone right it's going to be like five seven nine twenty nine something like this right and this is the increasing order right so you cannot have like this by two nine twenty nine right this is not allowed so you will have uh you will have the uh cars numbers in the during the deck and then uh what you would do is um you need to uh uh, you need to sort the deck and then using the index in the deck to traverse um to traverse uh what the possible outcome of the deck so i'm just calling and you you might can uh you can just follow it and um this will be hard to explain but it's pretty easy to write so uh, i'm i'm going to use q to store the index of the deck right so integer this will be q equal to new link list the link list link list is pretty much like a q right so i'm going to sort the deck so i can actually know um the increasing order right increasing order from the deck right and i need a return value which is in array and then the length the length will be uh, deck dot length, and I'm gonna put the n into the in the array size, and I'm gonna traverse n to my q. I'm gonna explain why. So q dot over and i. This is because I need to uh pull a deck. I mean, I take the index out of the deck, right? Take the top index all of the deck and then i need to uh, place the second card to the bottom right so um this will be the trick to understand but i'm going to explain as as far as i can so let's say n i plus plus so uh this will be result for sure right? i'm going to say um take the first card out of the deck there, there will be q dot pole so this will be the first card out of the deck, which is index zero, right? Starting from index zero. Index zero becomes the first card in the in, in the deck. So deck AI. And I need to replace the second card. So in this order, Q uh Q index order, I need to replace the second card at the bottom, which is uh at the end of the queue, right? So um the size i mean sorry the order is like this right so i, I take the first index out right i need to replace the second index at, at the end of the queue right so this will be q dot over over what q dot four right and then uh and then so on right so just don't think about how you actually uh, do the rest because um uh, this will be hard to imagine in your head but this will be the rule right you take the first card first car out of the deck and then you say you go to into the resort array right then you take the second car out and then place at the end of the queue so let's just run it and see if i have any question all right there's no and this will be the solution so let's talk about time and space complexity so for the time, it, this will be definitely an open, right? This is all open, this is all open. 
So the worst case for the time is n log n. And the space is definitely all of n, right? You store every integer in the in the array, right? So space is all of n, time is n log n. And this will be the solution. If you feel helpful, subscribe and like the video if you want. And comment if you have any questions. And I will see you next time. Bye.